G'day. Guten Tag. I'm Adrian Alleberg, Perth's worst comedian. And welcome to Worst Reviews. In today's episode, we'll be looking at beers. Let's fucking do this. Ah! Nah, 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 nah. None of that high shelf bullshit. Today we are looking at the lowest of the low. I'm talking like knee to ankle height. I mean, this is like falling off the back of the truck, just band-aids at the bottom of the beer swimming pool. Today we're comparing the worst beers that Australia has to offer. How it's gonna work is I've got all these beers, I'm gonna try them all, I'm gonna have them all individually, do a little taste test, uh, and I'm gonna rate them one to five on what I think they are. So really, the, the bar is not set very high. It's like the smartest person in Ireland. He's smart, but is he really that smart? We will determine which is the shittest beer. Science. All right, and first on our review list, we've got Pearl River Draft Beer. There it is, lovely uh, Chinese beer. Show the camera there. There we are. This is from the Gangzhou city. I think it's the city. Your bloody Chinese beers, mate. This is this is his personal favorite. Oh, I beer. Oh, no, no, give me more beer. No. Uh, this was twenty-nine dollars a carton. That's really watery. It almost tastes like a mid-strain. Very thin, very watery. I'm gonna say this is definitely $29 worth. Like, if I was running a marathon, I would probably drink this over water. I feel like I'm getting more hydrated with this. <laughs> ah! Pearl River Draft Beer. This is not good. Two out of five. Cascade Premium Light. I like the color, it's like relatively dark. Again, watery as fuck. But this one's allowed to be because it's like, it's a light beer. Like, it's gonna be light. It's gonna, it's gonna lack beer. Ugh. No! Pinchy. Traditionally brewed. Full flavored! <laughs> Well, there's a lie. That, that statement is as true as the picture of the fucking Tasmanian Tigers on there. Like, the beers that people are starting to drink, they're getting these really, like, hoppy sort of beers. So they're really just floral flavoured. This is the complete opposite of that. This is just, like, no flowers at In fact, it tastes like actual flour. You know, like what you make cakes with. Two and a half out of five for Cascade Light. <coughs> Done. Boom. Next beer, Western Lager. Ah. Oh wow, I've already gotten a bit of a taste of that, that is not nice. There's more head than I've had in my entire life. Ooh. Yeah, that is a fucking poor beer. That is third, that is Rio Olympics fucking Brazil poor. Made in Vietnam. <laughs> this is arguably the saddest thing that's happened in Vietnam for the past 50 years. It's Western Lager. Vietnam's not West. I'll tell you what it is. I think that the communist government of the time created this beer as communist propaganda to say that the West is shit. So they've made this beer deliberately shit. I bet Eastern Lager's hell nice. There's literally like chunks floating around inside. Nothing. Man. I don't know how much worse they're gonna get, but for me, so far this is the worst. So I'm gonna say one and a half out of five. <laughs> oh, just so gassy. I'm just fucking gassy as clay right now. Premium clean skin gold beer. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa! Well, there's at least two lies in this can. It's definitely not premium, and I'm questioning if this is really beer. From the Republic of Korea. There you go. I assume South. I don't think North is really doing that much beer trade. Yeah, I really don't think they've got the maritime equipment to actually make it off their beaches. So this is definitely South Korea. Oppa Gangnam Style, but this is, this is like middle range bad. 2.5 premium clean skin gold beer from fucking Korea, mate. What are you doing? Wave, mate. 
he's got nothing on this, mate. This is all bloody Australian, mate. This is fucking Australian crayfish, mate. Look at all these bloody Chinese imports taking our jobs, mate. Vote Pauline Hanson number one, mate. Keep Australian jobs in Australia, mate. I feel like this is the budget that Pauline Hanson's fucking ad campaign would have. The next one's a German beer. Kaiser! Oof. That is actually a good beer. Yeah, I think I fucked up, eh? This is actually a decent beer. This is, this does not belong on this list at all. It's a pretty good beer. Four out of five. I fell asleep for a gladiator. I know. You know else an Australian hero? Pauline Hanson, mate. <laughs> and Corona comes in a can now. Oh, wow. It doesn't smell good. I think this is new. So this could actually be one of the first review videos of Corona in a can, which I'm personally proud of. It's like, it's taken the worst parts of the Corona and just made them more. Skyler, <laughs> we're family. Uh, corona extra in a can. Not good. I don't like it. Solid two out of five. Oh, you wanna get trolley tonight, boys? Calm dry with natural lime. You like head, bro? Oh! A distinct uh, Erigard flavor. Why are you so happy, cat? So, why are they selling lime with you? You know those, like, lemony urinal cakes? Carlton Drive with natural lime, I am gonna give that a pretty convincing two. That is, that's not nice. I don't enjoy that. I got a whole shed full of memes at the back, you know some? My last beer. It would simply be un Australian of me, un Western Australian of me, to not include Bushchuk. The choice drink of uni students and just poor cunts Australia wide. And to enjoy this uh, fine beverage in the traditional manner, I'll be uh, drinking it through the ceremonial funnel. Amy export. The old fashioned way. Oh, that is a fine drop. You know, it's got a bad name. A lot of people talk shit about it, but look, I see it as the underdog. You know, this is this is the unappreciated genius. This is the Nikola Tesla of the beer world. This is five stars in my books. The verdict is in. The jury have voted unanimously. Weston officially the shittest beer. It was by far the worst. I barely stomached it. It hardly went down. And after that beer, it, like, everything following that made me want to vomit. Western Lager, that is your official worst beer. I'm Adrian, and uh, stay tuned for more worst reviews.